Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, give up for Scott Cutterson. <laughs> Hello everyone! Yeah. How you doing? My name's Scott and just to any speculation in the bunch right away, I'm not the guy from the Go Compare adverts. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not that lucky. I am a magician and I'm here tonight to tell you like it is. To lay bare my rock and roll existence. It's not all Las Vegas and Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> and now, are there any parents here tonight? Come on, shout any parents tonight? Because it's you that I want to talk to. The parents that had little Timmy's fifth birthday approaching and decided to throw little Timmy a party. Just him and 30 of his closest friends. So what he did you use what do we need? We need, we need a cake, we need balloons, and you know what we need? A babysitter. So you phoned me up and you say, Scott, can you give me a price for doing the little Timmy's birthday party? And so I gave you a price. And you said, how much? That's a bit expensive, isn't it? I said, well, actually, it's not that expensive. And if you want the reason, it's danger money. Because <laughs> let me tell you what happens when I get to your place and you push me into a room with dozens of wee kids wired to the moon on sweeties, chocolate ice cream and fizzy juice, or, as I like to think of it, their diabetes starter packs. <laughs> so that you can bugger off back to the kitchen and get pissed with your bubbles. Because Magic Man will look after the kids. Go! Cool. Who's going to look after Magic Man? <laughs> because it's scary now. I get into that room, the first thing we do is we stare at each other, me and the kids. And I've got to be strong because they can smell fear. <laughs> Better than any psychotic pit bull. But even a psychotic pit bull will not barrage you with smarties the moment your back's turned. And that's normally just a preamble to when they really start to gang up on me. And these kids, they are the most devastating hecklers I have ever heard. And a night like this, if somebody shouts out something, I can just reach up and grab any of those hundreds of lines that comedians use in that situation. Lines like, I thought, <laughs> lines like, I thought alcoholics were meant to be anonymous. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear that. Your mouth's too full of shit. Or my all-time favorite, I'm glad you came. It's just the thing your father did. <laughs> so, if you decide to get into doing children's parties, let me tell you, your first consideration is exit strategy. And I don't mean out of the business, I mean out of that party. Sometimes the opportunity just lands on you. For instance, you know the phrase, pissing yourself laughing. Yeah? In a comedy club, that's good. At a five-year-old's birthday party, <laughs> let me tell you, what happens is you'll have the kiddies sitting on and they'll be laughing, which is a good thing, right? And all of a sudden one in the front row, because it's always in the front row, will stop laughing and get that far away look in their eye. <laughs> and then the tide starts to come in. Right, now if it's on the carpet, we're okay, it soaks in, okay? But in laminate, it flows. And did you know that the average speed of kitty pee, influenced by fizzy juice, is over seven miles an hour? That doesn't sound fast, but let me tell you, as it's ebbing towards you, it's a lot quicker than it seems. Right? So here's the point, here's the exit strategy to go to the party, right? What do you want to do? Wait until it's almost lapping round my feet. And then I go down like Jurgen Klinsmann in a penalty box. Right? And I get out there and sometimes I can get a claim out of it as well. Right? Now, that's not like it. That sounds bad. It gets a lot worse because, see with kids, five-year-olds, if it's not coming out of one end, it's coming out the other. I even had to laminate the rabbit so she wipes clean at the end of the gig. Right? This, this is really nice. This is kind of like the therapy I normally pay for. You know, because I'm being very honest to you tonight, guys. I'm being very honest. Quite often when I meet people, I won't even tell them what I do. And you, you know why, because it's very embarrassing. And that's why I'm here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So whenever I meet people and they say, Scott, what is it you do for a living? I can say, I'm a stand-up comedian. <laughs> and if they don't believe that, I'll tell them I'm the guy from the Go Compare adverts. <laughs> Guys, thank you much for joining us the show tonight.